All right, let's look at a quick video of this morning of getting open transactions. And this is kind of in honor of one of my favorite people. Of course, I say that about everyone. Uh, but his preference when he gets open transactions is to use uh, DBCC OpenTran, which for the record is actually very helpful uh, in situations regarding the log, as we'll see in a second. It can actually display very useful information. And it also has some parameters that are included in there, such as um, like table results, uh, so if you want to save the information, you can also save the information. Now, of course, my preference if I'm looking for uh, transactions is the uh, DM exec request with the SQL text being cross-applied. And the reason why I prefer that route is just because I can get the weight information and uh, there's some other useful information as well in there. But it depends on your preference and there's no right or wrong way to do it. So hold on one second. So let's look at this. What I did was I executed a query here where I'm... Uh, doing a begin tran and then waiting for a delay. And then when I'm doing that delay and executing a transaction, eventually dropping a table after creating it and populating it with data, uh, then I commit the transaction. So you can see the output here. Here's a DBCC open tram. And you can see that'll tell you the old of, uh, oldest active transaction. Now, in this case, there's only one, of course, but if there was multiple, that would be one thing. Uh, you can see the, um, the server process ID, the UID, the name, the LSN uh, related to the log, the start time, and then you can see that information. Now, again, there's nothing wrong with this. This is a great approach, very useful, especially for logging for information. My preference is this one. And you'll see I actually filtered it because if I were to actually uh, add a star here uh, instead of the other, there'd be a lot more information. That can be useful. I can get the time. I can get a lot of really detailed information that I want. Um, you'll notice I'm also filtering out my own query uh, because otherwise it'll appear too. But you'll see I'm getting the session ID, the command, and then, of course, I can get these are two that I really am, am uh, interested in, the last wait type and then the current wait type. And that can be really useful when I'm trying to figure out what's going on with, uh, with certain things. So, of course, OpenTran is a very useful uh, DBCC command. It's nothing wrong with using D uh, DBCC OpenTran at all. Uh, my preference, of course, when, when it comes to active transactions, of course, it does depend on what problem you're solving, but when it comes to active transactions, that's my slight preference is the exec request. Uh, but in honor of him, and I'll send him this video if I can remember, because uh, he would always do that. He would feel like, here, let me do DBCOC open trend. I was like, why, why are you doing it this one? Let's do this one. But it was awesome. I love him. He's a great guy.